Hello everyone. Well, this is uh, for if you've got a problem with your Volkswagen 1.9 TDI uh, engine with the exhaust gas temperature sensor. This is the fault that I've had come up. It's G448 sensor to bank 1 and P1958 uh, uh, code. The problem is with these cars is there are, as far as I can see, at least three EGT exhaust gas temperature sensors and it's very little information as to which one is which and to which one to try until somebody said well why don't you unplug each sensor run the diagnostic and when you've pulled the sensor off and the fault is still there that's the faulty sensor and it sounds so uh, simple that I'm really embarrassed I didn't think of it so what it turned out was this is the sensor which I've managed to get off. I'll show you where it is shortly. And it is on the brown connector. Now, there are three EGT sensors, and they all culminate with connections here. Orange, black, brown. That is a lambda sensor. It's not an EGC sensor. And to make it even harder, this brown one is behind this bracket, so you can't actually see it. Um, it was only when I followed the cabling that I found out it's behind, so you have to loosen this bracket to get at it. So, this is the old sensor, and I don't know whether you can see inside, it's perhaps not showing very well, but there's, there's, it, it's, there's nothing sort of inside it, inside those sort of holes bit. This is the new sensor. Let's see if you can see inside. You can probably, oh, it's a bit better, yeah, you can, so there is something inside there, a white bit. So, obviously something's um, been taken off, um, burnt off, I don't know. But I can tell you that by swapping these over, then that clears the fault. Now, where is this EGT sensor? It's actually at the top of the diesel particulate filter, which is very nicely completely behind there. You cannot get at it for love nor money very easily. But what you can do is, first of all, take off the uh, the sort of the uh, pipe that connects the, uh, I think it's the intercooler, to where it goes actually into the engine. It's just a couple of these type pull-off clips, and there is a... Uh, Allen headed bolt, of course everything's Allen headed to try and stop you messing with it and those three bits correspond to going on there, very easy to get off, manoeuvre it out of the way. Now I've got with me a diagram and that will show you behind here what we're looking at. Now this is it sort of as if you are in the sat inside looking forward um, so what I'm going to have to do to, to sort of make it logical, I'm going to turn it that way. So it is sort of upside down, but it sort of corresponds with what we're looking at. Now, right on the left-hand side is this bit here. Now, that is a uh, gas pipe that runs along over to uh, here, and I think it just senses pressure. The next one along, which is the uh, middle one there, that is your uh, lambda sensor. And that one there, um, I don't know why the wire goes along like that, because actually it goes that way, as we showed earlier on, it's in the, blue, the brown uh, clip. That is the one you need to get at. And of course, it is completely and totally hidden. Now, there's two ways you can get at it by feeling. Um, first of all, if you have one of these open-ended deep sockets, unfortunately, when you put it on, it butts up against the uh, bulkhead or firewall if you're American. You cannot get your, uh, your, the, the, your wrench onto it, um, uh, so you just can't get your um, socket bit on. The other way is, at this side here, you can get a stubby spanner, and it will just about fit, but you cannot get the pulling force to pull it off. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to replace or get all of the turbo and everything off. But thankfully, you can get access, and it really is getting access to the back, and it's a 17 mil. Now, all you need to do is just crack it a little bit, and then once you've done that, it actually comes off very, very easily. You can unscrew it with your hand. So um, that's the way to clear a G448 fault code. It is the EGT sensor with the brown plug.